Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come, this way. For over 100,000 years, the foreigner AI construct known as 343 Guilty Spark watched over Installation 04, or Alpha Halo. He would protect his post with near-religious zeal from the dangers of the galaxy after the firing of the Halo Array to stop the flood. Yet what is the real story of this monitor? Spark's story begins after the events of the Human Foreigner War. Ancient humanity, after resisting and fleeing the horrors of the flood and being defeated by the foreigners, were de-evolved as punishment for the cleansing of foreigner worlds and using the resources to fight the flood, unbeknownst to the foreigners who are clueless of the flood's existence. A few were converted into the genetic memories called Gaia, or the composer in the hopes that a cure for the Flood would be discovered. These Gaia were implemented into the minds of their primitive relatives to be passed on from generation to generation. From these generations came a young man named Chakas. Along with his compatriot Riser, who was a different human subspecies, the two would find themselves thrown into the galactic scene with the appearance of a foreigner youth named Bornsteller. Bornsteller was looking for the relics and treasures of the long-lost Precursor civilization and enlisted the aid of the two humans. Instead of treasure, they found the Ur-Didact. The Ur-Didact would take these three on an intergalactic journey in pursuit of answers about what had happened in the Ur-Didact's 1,000-year exile. They would find the Halos being used for nefarious purposes by corrupt forerunners and would be separated by the same culprits. Chakas and Riser were cast onto a rogue Halo ring Installation 07, on a collision course with a rapidly advancing planet. Though travels and trials on the ring, Chakas would learn the truth about the Precursors and the Flood from the ancient Gaia brewing inside his mind, the Lord of Admirals, the arch-rival of the Didact, nearly 1,000 years ago. The Flood and Precursors were one and the same, and had come to join all life in the galaxy as the Flood. Chakas would be rescued by Bornsteller, now the Isodidact, but his body was badly damaged after he helped save the ring from its collision course, and thus was composed into a monitor. Monitor Chakas would be reassigned to work on the Greater Ark, the first forge of the Halos, and a repository for biological life under the care of the Librarian. One Halo, Omega Halo, served as a colony for primitive man, and was stationed near the Greater Ark. This Halo would be used by the Erdidact to create an army of Promethean Knights through the use of the Composer. The Greater Ark would soon come under attack by the Flood. Chakas would valiantly help save the remaining survivors and flee. After these events, he was renamed 343 Guilty Spark by the Isodidact and tasked with caring for Installation 04. Sadly, his memories of his life as Chakas were locked away. The rest is history. 343 Guilty Spark would encounter humanity again in 2552 on Installation 04 amidst the chaos of the Human Covenant War and the release of the Flood on his ring. The destruction of his ring would force Spark to a nearby gas mine and inadvertently turn the wheels of the dissolution of the Covenant through the Heretics. Spark would aid in the halting of Delta Halo's firing and join humanity's journey to the Lesser Ark, the second Ark constructed, only to betray them in order to try and save the newly constructed Halo ring to replace his former ring. As a result, he perished. Or did he? Reports from the Office of Naval Intelligence show that Spark's remains were recovered from the debris field of the Lesser Ark and reactivated. With his memories restored to him, Spark would hijack the UNSC Rubicon and begin to search for the Librarian. Where will he appear next? That is a mystery. <laughs>